Okay, he's out playing tennis in South Carolina. He yeah. ends up with a stroke <laughs> and uh, can't, can't stand up, is having trouble walking, is dizzy. Right. And uh, his name is Mike Hogwood. And I think for a lot of folks, we're astonished to know that you've been dealing with this battle. Right. Yeah, uh, over well, months and all the physical the, the, therapy. You know, I did a lot of physical therapy, and I got to tell you, the folks at Cone Hospital, those physical therapists, are fantastic. Mm-hmm. They know exactly, you know, they know what they're doing. And uh, now I feel really good. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm back almost a hundred percent and um, loving what I'm doing. And you know, as I said, I've got a second chance to do it. And you know, I think a lot of us, when we get a second chance, you never really appreciate your health till you lose it. Wow. I, you, you know, what we always take it for granted and. You, sure you do, lose yeah. it, and um, you get a second chance, and you know, say, "Hey, I'm going to make the most of this," and that's what I'm trying to do now. All right, I have a basketball question. Uh, go for ahead. You. Yeah, I'll lay what's it on wrong here. with North Carolina this year for crying <laughs> well, out loud? Uh, there's no chemistry on the team. They, uh, <laughs> um, the talent is not what uh, Ray Williams thought it was going to be. Um, they don't have a lot of confidence in themselves. But uh, Carolina is going to be back. You know they've got a great recruiting class coming in. And so Roy Williams back. is a great coach. It just it just is yeah, not it's just there. Been, it's been, it's been a frustrating. It's been a frustrating season for great. him. One of the things that I think Mike and you know yeah. better than anybody when people watch you on TV, everybody thinks I could do that. I right. could do that job. There's nothing to it. You just show up and say what you think. Yeah, let me tell you something. It looks easy, <laughs> but uh, not everybody can do it, and that's why all you, right. you feel good about it. Hey, we got to uh, take a couple of calls if that's all right with sure. you. Sure, no uh, problem. Scott, no problem. welcome to Rush Radio 94.5. It's Bill and Pam, and you've got Mike Hogwood. Did we lose Scott? All right, we'll, uh, we'll go away with Scott. How about CJ? Good morning, CJ. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mike. Good uh, morning. We're glad to have, good morning. have you back. Hey, it's good to be back, let me tell you. Well, hey, uh, you know, going along with the lines of, uh, you know, thinking it's easy, um, I got the opportunity to do some announcing for boxing, and uh, it was a lot more work than I ever anticipated. And being in front of a live crowd uh, with two or 3,000 people and trying to get all these guys' names right and go through the preparation process and keep the crowd into it, uh, especially when you have a five- or ten-minute lull in the action, what a huge job! <laughs> yeah, I mean, unreal. Would you talk about yeah. that a little bit, Mike? Well, I, and keep first that of all, I don't think um, people have any idea that the number of hours you put in to prepare for an event. Mm-hmm. You know, you the the preparation time is what takes forever. And uh, yeah, you got to have uh, the Bill Flynn gift of gab, I think, to be able to do it a little bit. You know, you you've got to be able to have a lot of talking points and. When you need to fill, like in basketball, a lot of times, let's say there's a clock area error and the officials have to go over the scorer's table and figure out what's going on. Well, you got to be able to fill all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's you got to pull it from your head, the knowledge you have in your head. Yeah, and and the fortunate thing is, I work with some great analysts, um, have all year. And so, you know, it's a lot easier when there are two of you, just like, you know, Bill and Pam, (laughs) you throw stuff back and forth. It's a lot easier. A lot easier. I I get the feeling it doesn't escape you that you're working with some, some big name talent in the world yeah. of broadcast and sports and yeah. is that kind of a thrill in itself well it really is you know um working with a guy like mike jaminski um the mm-hmm. only problem with him is we always have to do our opens on stools because i look like a midget <laughs> <laughs> he's seven one and i'm five wow. eleven so you know we stand beside each other it's yeah. like you know that doesn't work as well but um you know dan bonner debbie antonelli is just wonderful i did the women's tournament with her and uh so it's 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 been good. It's been real good. And you got the job where you know if you have an issue, if you make a misstatement or you yeah, get a, a jersey number wrong or a name right. mispronunciation. What's the worst well, worst one you've ever done? Um, I really try to avoid that. Okay, in, in our business, there's one rule: you don't talk about religion, you don't talk about politics, you don't talk about any of that kind of stuff. Not like you do here, you know. I right. mean, we I'm, talk about all, and, right, and, right. and those are my two favorite subjects to talk about. <laughs> so um, I kind of keep, <laughs> you know, I keep that. Um, you you kind of don't talk about that. You just talk about the game. You talk about the players. It's not about me when I do a game. It's about the men or the women who have worked so hard and are out there working hard. And you try to honor that and you try to celebrate that what they're doing during a game. What's the biggest compliment you can get in the job that you have? Well, what is the one thing that sports broadcasters live for um well we live for great games that's what we live for you know and we have a motto at fox that we always say protect the game the game is the most important thing not not us and what we say i just try to compliment what's going on in the game i try to compliment 
the the players and the action of what's happening and also less is more I don't talk I try not to talk all that much during a game I try to just compliment you know what what is happening out on the court and tee up my analysts to make you know good comments and that kind of stuff about it but it, I try to make sure for me that, that this game is not about me, the, particularly if it's a great game down the stretch. You just try to celebrate that and try to keep the energy of what you do in uh, as but what's going on with the crowd and that kind of thing. Is there a particular game that comes to mind right now that was probably your favorite game to be a part yeah, of? Um, it's a women's game in the ACC tournament. When K. Yow was so sick with cancer and was barely able to make it out on the court, they were playing the number one team in the nation, unbeaten Duke, and K. Yow's team came and pulled away the upset to make it to the finals of the tournament. I have never felt so much emotion wow. in a bank game or in a building myself. They had no reason to win that game except they were playing for their coach who was very, very sick with cancer. And um, that that game stands out to me as – uh, something that that you know I'll never forget. Yeah. But you know I've been to Carolina. I've been to you know done men's games everywhere, and you know had some close games, double overtime games, and but that game was filled with emotion. And I'm an emotional person, and I love you know the emotion of sports is something that I, I really really enjoy. Mike, uh, just one last thing here. Yeah. You, you use the word miracle as you talk about the recovery from yeah. the stroke. Yeah, it and, was a miracle. And there's a real um, there's a real connection between you and a power beyond you. I well, get the right. sense. Well, so. right. You know, um, obviously, I, I have my faith has been strengthened by all of this in, in a big way. And while the doctors are wonderful and the therapists are wonderful, you know. Um, sometimes there is a higher power and that helps out. And I really believe that God gave me a miracle. And, um, you know, there was, he gave me a quick recovery from this. And um, to him, uh, he was given that much is required. And so I'm trying to share my story and maybe hopefully some other people who need a miracle, let them know that miracles do happen. You know, that's one thing I heard a lot from my friends is we do believe in miracles. And uh, I certainly believe in miracles now. There's no doubt about that, Bill. The incredible Mike Hogwin. No, thank not, you. I'm not incredible. Thank you for opening up your heart and your well, work great. to us. It's well, great to um, see you. Thanks for letting me come in. It's been fun visiting Anytime. with you. It's been a. It's been a. We'll watch you on the yeah. tournament. And yeah, that's what and, I'm uh, Tomorrow at noon, to. I yeah, think yeah. we're on. Uh, we're on WFMY, so that'll be hosting good. the ACC tournament. Yeah, that's a great, be fun. great thing. Mike Hogwood, and uh, all right for one more time for Pam Duke, Carolina Kia, just one more time. <laughs> Carolina Kia. Yay! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love it. 7:30 yeah. Rush Radio 94.5. All right.